action, focus, honor. It's martial arts. Today's video: Kung Pao versus Kung Fu Hustle. Next video: Under Siege. All right, it's martial arts. Today we're gonna to have a showdown between Kung Pao and Kung Fu Hustle. But first, my bonus pick of the week is uh, the Yip Man movies. Have you seen those? I've not. I heard really good things though. I, I've seen yeah. the first Ip Man. I think the third oh, cool. one just came out. Fourth, yeah, uh, fourth one fourth came one. out, Ooh. which I did not see yet yeah. because it was in the theaters, and I uh, I gotta see the, the fourth one. But anyway, I saw the first three that they're awesome, especially uh, the first one. I think is my favorite. And uh, yeah, by the way, it's I think it's pronounced the Yip Man, but it's spelled Ip Man. Yeah, it's about the guy who trained Bruce Lee, mm. and uh, it's one of the period piece martial arts movies where it's set during you know the Japanese invasion of China, and um, in this movie, like it, it's so heart wrenching and so uh, emotional. Like not only is the fighting good, but also the plot is really good. Uh, the, the, the main character has a family, he has a wife and, and kid who you really care about. Mm. There's a lot at stake. The villains are terrifying and just really, really good. The second Yip Man is also really good, um, but that one's it's kind of um. It's a ripoff of Rocky IV, which <laughs> which I have no problem okay. with. Oh, yeah. um, so Sammo Hung plays uh, his like nemesis turned friend, who gets killed in the ring while fighting a boxer. It's like a martial artist versus boxer match. Oh, that's pretty funny. And then he has to fight against the guy who killed his friend. So <laughs> it's Rocky IV. Yeah. Yip Man three, he fights Mike Tyson. Oh. So they really okay. have like I'm a, on board. <laughs> they really have like a martial artist versus boxer thing going on. But anyway, I, I think the first one is the best. Second one is almost just as good. Third one is is, is it's declining. Fourth one I gotta see. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So anyway, Kung Pao Enter the Fist versus Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah. Now the reason I wanted to do this is because I used to always get these movies mixed up because they both have Kung in the title. They're both Kung Fu comedies. Yeah. And they both came out like very close to each other, like two years two, apart. 2002, yeah. 2004. Yep. Or five. And 2004. Yeah, four yeah. in theaters, five like the DVD and all this oh, stuff. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I would get them mixed up, but whenever someone would bring up uh, Kung Fu Hustle, I'd be like, oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it's that really like goofy, you know, Kung Fu movie. And I had a friend who said, you gotta see Kung Fu Hustle. You know, it's great. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I saw uh, Kung Pao. He's like, no, no, that was the terrible one. That, that, one, <laughs> oh, that one's shit. It's you know, not you don't, terrible. He's like, you don't you wanna say, this is the real one. And I'm like, well, they they both have like silliness going yeah, on. Like, one of them has yeah. a cow fight. The other <laughs> has like Looney Tunes, like Roadrunner like uh, style they're, running. And they're both very cartoony. Yeah, yeah. Very animated. I, it's kind of weird to even compare them because <laughs> right. I've seen like we've gotten like I think requests to do like a verses on this and stuff, and it's just like. Okay, we're doing it now, but it's like they're so dip. They're both yeah, really yeah. good for different reasons. Yeah, like they're similar in some ways, but they're also very different. Well, yeah, I, no. I mean, both of these movies are good enough to get their own rental review episodes. I think. Yeah, uh, they're both good enough for me to own. Those are well, my you, copies. You're, you're getting two in one. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So anyway, I guess we'll just do this one at a time. So first, yeah. uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Okay. Yeah. Now, just to explain what this movie is. They took an old martial arts movie, Tiger and Crane, which is also known as Savage Killers, mm -hmm. and they redubbed it and added an American actor yeah. who, who is the, also the, the filmmaker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Steve Odenkirk. Steve Odenkirk, who Steve is Odenkirk. really, really yeah. funny. He's, who, you know what? I, I always confused him for like Bob Odenkirk's Bob Odenkirk. brother, no. but they're not related Saul? at all. No, no. Yeah. Uh, Steve Odenkirk, I'm a big fan of him. He did the Thumb parody no, movies, the, the thumb like wars. Thumb Tannic, yeah. Thumb Wars. Oh, is that why with the, the, when they stick the tongue out, he's got the yeah. face on the yeah. tongue? Yeah. He, oh. uh, he likes he, putting faces on body parts. He worked a lot okay. with like Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was in one of his early movies as like the devil or Grim Reaper right. or something. He directed Ace Ventura 2. He created Jimmy Neutron. He is, like, really funny. He had a show, like, the Stephen Odekirk show. Yeah. If you can hunt down clips, they're kind of hard to find these days. Well, that's why I got confused with him and Bob Odenkirk, because yeah. Bob Odenkirk was on, was on Mr. Mr. Show. Mr. Show. But Steve yeah. Odenkirk did a lot of weird, almost Andy Kaufman-esque stuff, like... Just joke videos yeah. that were kind of like just bizarre, oh, and, which this movie is the ultimate joke wow. movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's and, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Steve Odenkirk, uh, Odenkirk was in um, Full House. He's the one that yeah, I'll beat. I'll do this um, just so we know which one we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one that beat Uncle Joey in Star Search for comedy. Oh, I haven't watched Full House since like 1998. So. That's me, me neither, but you know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you haven't watched it. You probably watched it yesterday. Anyway, Kung Pao. 
this is one of my favorite uh, movies. Yeah. And right now in the comments, people are either saying, yeah, I love it too, or they're calling me a fucking idiot. Oh, so this one's a hit with you. Yeah, this yeah, one right, is cool. a hit. Yeah. They're right. both hits with okay. me. But I'm, I love this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I laughed my yeah. ass off when I first oh. saw it. Because, okay, I guess there, there's two aspects to this. There's the dubbing, how they dubbed the movie, but then there's yeah. also the green screening. Yeah. I guess you want to talk about the dubbing part first. What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? My ass. <laughs> I think it's before the art of dubbing movies has, has picked up as much as it has, because now people have really perfected it. There's like, mm. have you ever seen like the bad lip reading videos? Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of like, like an early version of that, mm -hmm. but it's a feature length film. And at mm. a certain point, there's times where like, it almost seems like they didn't know what kind of jokes to put. Yeah. So they would just go like, do anything. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> just had like weird sounds. You're, you find yourself <laughs> laughing at it because you're just like, yeah. this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, the, like, but, like all, all the catchphrases in this movie are like open the mouth, like yeah. like all like people, you know, repeat like Austin Power lines and all that kind of stuff in the early two thousands. All me and my friends, all we talked about was Kung Pao. Oh, I could, <laughs> I love Master Pain. I will now be known as Evil Betty. <laughs> like, Betty. Betty. <laughs> and the character's are like, oh, he's Betty now. Oh, right. <laughs> like, that's normal. So I am not the only one who laughed at this movie. Oh, oh no. Oh, is, my God. Oh. No. There's so many. Like, my family <laughs> hate it when I would put this on. I know. Yeah. And, like, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get why you could hate this. But yeah, this yeah. movie's just too no, fucking when, 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 when this you came know? out, I was in high school. I was working at the movie theater, which I bring up a lot. And yep. I was selling tickets, and and two like like really Asian guys could barely speak English came in. I think they thought it was an actual kung fu movie. Oh no! And I was like, okay, here you go. <laughs> and they went into um, like a minute later, they must have saw the the baby fighting scene. They yeah, came yeah, out yeah. and returned their money. And they're <laughs> okay. What the fuck is with the opening scene with the baby? It's like, just. It's yeah, just and, a funny and, and, scene. And that's something it's, they shot specifically for the movie. Yeah, not yeah. the whole movie yeah, is in green screen. I think yeah. people have a misconception about that. Yeah. No, they, they got actors and did yeah. Yeah. And yeah. stuff it's to it. Basically, I, I mean, guess the dancing baby in Ally McBeal was popular, so they had a fighting baby. Which which but that, uh, Mike has a, a toy of in his yeah, store. We'll, we'll take a picture oh. of that. <laughs> but that, that opening scene is so weird and dark, and then it, it doesn't fit with the rest of the movie. And this yeah. I'm, I'm talking about a movie which is completely batshit crazy to begin with yeah. but this opening scene with the baby it's the first thing you see mm. and it's just like what the hell is this and <laughs> yeah because i almost and i love when the baby rolls away and it gets picked up and you're like oh this is the story where it gets adopted it gets like you know again. like the moses superman story and then uh -huh. the girl's like all right and she drops it down the hill and lets it go <laughs> <laughs> goodbye bye yeah uh. <laughs> It, it, it's a real product of its time, and if it's uh, not from the dancing baby fight scene and yeah. and some of the jokes, it the Matrix cow scene. Yeah, the I like oh. big butt song. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Fun. beware of his big butt song. He beats you <laughs> up to it. I used yeah. to get so sick of all those Matrix spoofs. Like every yeah. movie had oh, like Scooby a Matrix Doo, movie. like yeah, scary every, movie. Yeah, had everything. There was just too many. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, still, like there's the there's there's that. There's the the gopher chucks, which I guess was woodchuck chucks or yeah, something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Which are straight and, uh, up like on the cover, the yeah. gopher chucks. And then the part that just killed me was when the narrator is saying like he walked. So on he walked. And sometimes drove. And occasionally partied with the desert creatures. And he's like at a campfire like, and he's like all oh, just drunkenly yeah. dancing. And there's like, and there's like this little like um, stuffed like uh, animal in the They're not even puppets. And he's just kind of like, taxidermy. he's just going like this. <laughs> They're just taxidermy. They're not even puppeting. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I partied with the desert animals. Yeah. I love when uh, they're making fun of the, like the story of this movie is not important. Like no. it's no. not it's, I mean, it had us. It, it was an existing movie before, well, yeah. so but it, they added a lot. Yeah. It, it, I don't it, think it, there were aliens in the existing no. movie. <laughs> then there's aliens all of a sudden. Yeah. French? No, no, they are French. <laughs> they are French. They're yeah. French aliens. That's right. Um, uh, the yeah. aliens are French. <laughs> oh, and the fucking the the, the Japanese uh, Mufasa in the clouds. Like I told you, they were aliens. And the Mushu Fasa. And then he Mushu says, Fasa. "Like this is CNN," and he fades away. <laughs> 
it's James just, Earl Jones. You know, <laughs> you don't have movies like like these parodies, like yeah. from Airplane, the scary movie, whatever. Like yeah. this is one of the last ones where they're just like, "Fuck it, make it." Yeah. You know, like after this and like Freddy Got Fingered, which was like the year before, <laughs> I think. This was like the era of like, "Fuck it." Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like a good spoof, mm-hmm. kind of like you know, Naked Gun, Airplane, and stuff. Because around this time, you had like the scary movies and stuff, where it's just. Remember this scene from a movie? Mm. Remember that scene from a movie? Uh-huh. This, this was like, own. hey, I'm making fun of the Chosen One archetype, yeah. mm-hmm. which I hate the whole Chosen One thing. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I hate that in movies. Mm. Um. I remember a long time ago when a good friend of mine told me there would be a Chosen One. There will be a chosen one. It's like a, like a mystery science theater riff, but they're doing yeah. it in the movie. There's another movie yeah, that yeah. did that. Um, like Woody Allen and a bunch of guys did a movie. I think it's called like What's Up Tiger Lily, where they redubbed an old movie. So this isn't the first okay. time it's happened. Uh, okay, this is yeah. the first time they added yeah. the actor into the movie. Yeah, and yeah. Added which is stuff. crazy because they but, show you that in the credits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, the end credits, and which is also on YouTube, like you definitely show some of those clips. Yeah. They didn't just green screen him in. They also like somehow flawlessly matched him with the other actors. And say what you will about this movie. I know everybody hates it, but <laughs> but they did such an amazing job. Where there's scenes where the original actor is like yeah. ho- touching him on the shoulder, mm. and like there's I think there's one where he's got like, his arm around somebody. Like they they look like they're actually yeah. acting. I I still to this day don't know how they did that. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone, I don't think people hate it as much these days. I think it has a cult following now. Yeah. I think us. the rep, yeah, the reputation, like we grew up yeah, and yeah. now we all love it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, when it came out, like, uh, actually my uncle recommended this movie to me. Oh, okay. He said Jim Carrey was hilarious in it. Oh. <laughs> so he clearly didn't look yeah. at the credits, oh. but, uh, I was like, all right, I'll go see that Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. <laughs> But I loved it. I don't know. I know so I, I many know. people love this Watching movie Watching it now, I haven't seen it in like 10 years. I mean, I was cracking up in the theater when I saw it with like my other employees and the, stuff. But um, something like Tungy is just so, not cringy, but it's just like, okay. But, yeah. you know, there's also like Towley on South Park. It's yeah. like the same thing. It's just like irreverent. Uh, like, what do you call it? The last time I watched this was the night I watched Hereditary. Oh, and yeah. And I was, I was like too In what scared. order? I was feature. too scared to go to sleep. So oh. I'm like, so me and my girlfriend were like, all right, that was real spooky. Uh, let, let's put Kung Pao on <laughs> to like kind of lighten up the mood. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like that can't be the last thing I watch before I go to bed. Let's put Kung Pao. On. I will uh-huh. say this was like a choice DVD between me and my friends in the early 2000s. Mm. It's a great. By the this, way, it's a this great and Kung Fu Hustle. Like this was a great DVD because they have a what are they really saying audio track. Oh yeah, and an audio commentary. There's oh, a lot yeah, of stuff yeah. in this DVD. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, the cow animatic. There's all this. I stuff. wasn't there like some kind of intermission in it. Oh, yeah, there was yeah. an so, intermission. so when when I worked in the theater to bring it up again, people would leave the theater thinking it was an actual intermission oh. and would get food. So I'm like, no, 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 it's fake. Go back in the theater. You're gonna, you're gonna miss him getting out of the tiny net. You can't. <laughs> oh, it's, wow. it's not a real intermission. <laughs> Mind you, this is in theaters for like at our theater. A week and a half. It yeah. was like, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Yeah, yeah. but I, oh. I, the movie is mostly jokes strung together, but I think it yeah. works. It's mm-hmm. hilarious. It's wacky. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. Um, it, it's definitely its own thing. You yeah. Know, it's it's, it's yeah. what it is. So now we'll do Kung Fu Hustle. Now, Kung Fu Hustle, coming out two years after, mm. um, is very different. Yeah. But similar in some ways. It looks a lot more polished because it's a bigger budget movie. Yeah. I mean, for one thing, they didn't redub an old movie. They actually <clears throat> made a whole new movie yeah. from scratch. Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous. There's lots of very artsy shots in it. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's all around a better made movie. Yeah. Um, it's got some beautiful, like, there was, like, a lot of digital backgrounds and stuff yeah. at it, mm-hmm. and it's blended it, it's in also, really well. It's also nice because it takes place in the 1940s, I think. In yeah, China, yeah. And it has this really nice neon Dick Tracy look to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and um, it has some good humor, but it's not quite as, like, just piss yourself laughing, but, but it has some moments where, like, yeah. there's a this one guy he wants to pick somebody to fight and he picks like the nerdiest looking weak guy <laughs> but then he like he like i think he like takes his shirt off or whatever and he's got yeah. like muscles and everything. Yeah, yeah and then he picks another guy he's like hey short fry get over here and it turns out to be a giant guy he's like no 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 cheating <laughs> right uh, <laughs> yeah so there's some good yeah. parts like that yeah but there, there's also a lot of really weird 
parts that mm -hmm. I think rivals Kung Pao in yeah. terms of like randomness is uh, there's like the enormous lips. There's that scene with like the when he gets bitten by the snakes. Yeah, yeah, and, and it the swells. Very cartoony. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's like the Looney Tunes running. There's all yeah. that with him um, and the lady. Yeah. Yeah. The the the, the two assassins well, that with, play with, the music. With, 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 I forgot what the music's called. Was like the Yoshiba Brothers. I forgot. I know that was like a big instrument. Like a lot of yeah. music came out back in the day. Yeah. With that thing. That's and, probably uh, my favorite scene in the movie. Yeah, but like, then when, when, when he does his like, with their super move, all the demons come out. Much like in like Lord of the Rings when he has the ghost arm. Oh yeah. That's what it kind of looks like. Then there's like a shining spoof in yeah. Yeah. Like with the, the blood. The, this movie yeah. references a lot of mm. movies. So what a kind I think this this had to be made in this was all made in China, right? Um, mm. They gave him this huge budget, and basically he just wanted to redo all his favorite um, movie scenes and stuff like that. Okay. That's kind of what happened. And mind oh, you, okay. St Stephen Chow, who is in it and you know was the main actor and director of it, he's now one of China's biggest directors. He did like Journey to the West and these movies that make like a billion dollars in China. Yeah, he's like their guy. He mm. did. Um, have you ever seen uh, Shallon Soccer? I don't remember, but I heard oh. that one come up a lot. With Chow, yeah, Chow that's Soccer's the preview. Good. I think that's why when they first introduced, because Stephen Chow stars in the movie, much like Steve Odenkirk stars in Kung, oh, yeah. Kung Pao. Yeah. Uh, when you first meet like Stephen Chow. He, Both movies had a Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's playing, like, the kids are playing soccer and he crushes the soccer ball. I think they that's him again. being like, all right, we're not doing Chow and Soccer anymore. Oh, this is completely different. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he just huh. wanted to. There were so many references to movies I've never seen because he blended mm. like West and East and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, The Shining, I guess he just really wanted that scene okay. with the bloody hallway. Yeah. yeah, that just seemed out of place. I mean, yeah. everything's out of place. But then yeah. the, there's the, the villain who turns into like a frog or something. That's, like, yeah. that's, his, that's his kung fu. That, that's, his that's his power. Frog the style, beast, I guess. Frog style. <laughs> and then uh, there's this part I remember where he like jumps in the air and he jumps off of a bird. Yeah, he kicks a bird to get higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he comes down. He's like, he the and then, palm. Yeah. yeah, then he does the, the palm thing where he's just putting handprint, like giant handprints in buildings. Yeah. It's like, uh, this movie's weird too. Like, yeah. it, it has its share it's, of random it's, moments. It's very like kung fu, like, next. Oh, it's almost like, not to bring up anime, but very like next stage, next battle. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, it felt like I haven't watched Drunken Master. I understood this movie a little bit mm -hmm. more. Because it is kind of like, I mean, it's got its own little wacky, cartoony aspect to it. But it is making fun of kung fu comedy stuff. Not making fun, it's trying to imitate it. But yeah. uh, this one had an axe gang. They're literally mm. called the Axe Gang, which reminded me of the second Drunken Master mm -hmm. movie where there was an Axe Gang. Yeah. I don't know if that was like a real thing. Maybe it was. Kind of. Mm. We don't talk about it. Oh, okay. Never it, mind. Mm. <laughs> so it was real. Kind of, yeah. yeah. They, they like hacking people up. Mm. Well, I assumed. Yeah. yeah, this movie starts off pretty dark. Mm. Yeah. Like with the uh, the axe gang killing the other gang, well, like I mean, murdering them, like, and then yeah. they're dancing. I actually was wondering, like, I think cool. when yeah. I first saw it, I was like, is this a comedy? And then, you know, eventually it's like, okay, yeah, it, yeah. it is. But it's so, it, it just, it, it mixes a lot of different tones. Mm -hmm. and um, yeah. But the thing is, the thing about Kung Fu Hustle, where this movie shines, it, its best aspect is the fight choreography. It's Cause, insanely good. Yeah. 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 Like, it is just like, I mean, people are just getting, like, knocked into the air, and, mm -hmm. like, there's slow motion, things yeah. breaking. It reminds me a lot of, not to bring up the Matrix again, but a lot of that kind of stuff where, mm -hmm. like, in the second one, where, like, you know, all yeah. the, uh, he's beating up all the Agent Smith clones, and they're flying everywhere. Only like, in yeah, this yeah. one, it doesn't look like shit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it actually looks like a goddamn movie, even well, though it well, has cartoony effects. Well, that's not, the thing. Like, Matrix Reloaded. If you set up that it's supposed to look cartoony and not realistic, yeah. you can get away with it. And yet it still looks more realistic <laughs> than the Matrix Reloaded. Yeah. yeah, but it definitely does have the post-Matrix style where mm. it's not just about the choreography, but about the special effects and how you yeah. use them and uh, all the different things you can do with the technology. I just remember there's this fight scene at the end where like people are getting knocked all over the place and uh, it's almost like Street Fighter physics mm, yeah. where like every hit, it just sends them flying into the air. It, it, oh, it, yeah. is, is that when Stephen Chow's finally like the chosen one and he's beating him up yeah. before the fight I with the beast? I think so. Where he's wearing white and has like this Bruce Lee look. I don't think he's a chosen one. I think it's just his right. chi needed to be awoken. He, yeah, and, and, and his chi gets awoken by getting beaten up more. Yeah, by having his head crushed which, in. Which is very like Super Saiyan style. You get yeah. stronger the more you So the, fight. the whole thing is like he's like this low level crime guy because when he was younger he bought a uh, Buddhist uh, palm like technique thing and he thought he was going to be this hero and then he gets his ass kicked and he realized yeah. he wants to be a bad guy. He tries that and then somehow ends up being the good guy at the end. Mm -hmm. His chi is awoken. Right. And the whole movie has a bunch of kung fu masters. Like there's yeah. the big tough guy. There's yeah, the, the arm guy, the leg guy, the, yeah, broom, the yeah. gay guy, which they keep referencing. Yeah. But he's actually one of my favorites when he puts the rings on his hands. 
and he does all those moves. Um, yeah, there, there, there's some yeah. solid fights in this. Yeah. I remember something about where like he punches his head into cement. Yeah. And then there's like a part where he punches the guy's head and his head turns around. And, oh, like, yeah, it's that's, weird. So, the, the, that's how the beast kills the head of the axe gang. He mm -hmm. just like turns his head around. The guy's looking the other way and dies. Which I didn't know if that killed him because so many people are surviving so much worse yeah, in this movie. Yeah, and survive. it's like, oh, but that guy died. It'd be and cool then if he was around like, later with <laughs> It has like a really good story. It's a good story with comedic elements, yeah. whereas Kung Pao is just yeah. joke, joke, yeah. joke. And, 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 and this one has the romance angle with him and the mm. girl who sells ice cream, yeah. who they steal at one point, which is pretty funny. They're like, we stole your ice cream. Yeah. And oh, I it. love the the fat guy, his fat yeah. friend in this, when he's throwing the knives. And oh, he, and keeps, he keeps stabbing he him? He keeps stabbing him. That reminds me of like, uh, Oh, fuck, I can't remember right now, yeah. but yeah, I love he's it's just very, like, he keeps stabbing. Very slapstick. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very the, the, the slapstick's pretty good in this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's solid. Yeah. Did you watch the the dub or the or the sub version? You watch the subtitles? Probably the subtitle one. I it's forget. Really oh. hard to find the English dub of this. And I'm looking. I, I'm on Amazon Prime. I'm on Netflix. I'm on all these places, and I can't find it. They say it's in English. It's not. Mm -hmm. On Netflix, they have all the languages but English. Yeah. Like they have uh, German, Spanish, Italian, everything but English. Gotta have the DVD. Right. And um, if you don't have the DVD, if you want it in HD, you can't really find it. So what ended up happening is I got CBS All Access for like seven days because it's on that on, on Netflix. It says English. Yeah. It's not. It's a lie. It's still in Cantonese. Oh. And has a thing. So they lied to you and now you're stuck watching an awful so, Picard no. show. Man, that sucks. Uh, don't worry. I already canceled my All Access. You so should. How, how many of those Picards have you watched? Who cares? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm in it for the long haul. I'm I, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I jump off or not. Don't no, jump, jump off. Jump off. <laughs> yeah. if, anyway, if, if you're not a trek, you jump off. But yeah. well, I mean, uh, I. So, so, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, I, I downloaded it. I illegally downloaded it. Using uh, you could have borrowed it from me. Listen, your good friend. I got it. I watched it, and I was like, oh, that's why they they ban the English version. It is. It's yeah. pretty racist. L last night, they, they, I watched the English version with the subtitles to see the difference. It, it, it sounds like um, like Newt Gunray from episode one. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, they drop a lot of F-bombs. They're, they're a lot meaner fuck. in the English dub. So, like, yeah. I mentioned the gay character. They're a little bit mean to him in the regular version, but the English dub, yeah. they're way meaner Ooh. to that character. I'm like, holy shit, no wonder they don't want people listening to this version. A lot of F-bombs. Oh. It was fine. I was like, okay. I get it. Yeah. But uh, definitely watch this sub if you can. Not because of that, just because I think it translates better. No, the sub is a lot better. Yeah. The jokes are a lot funnier. So I've only ever watched it sub until last night, just because I wanted to, a comparison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the subtitle version is way so, better. I guess which one do you guys like more if you want to... It's versus. All right, so Kung <sighs> Pao versus Kung Fu Hustle. And remember, they're both, they're both comedy action films. They both have scenes where people get peed on because you need that. Oh, they both have a peeing scene? They do. Ah. Uh, one is when he's a child, he gets peed on by yeah. seven bullies at once. And in this one, a baby pees on a guy named Betty. Ah. Mm. He wasn't mm. Betty yet. He, oh, right. He, he was, was Master, Master Pain. Pain. My mm. mistake. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is rough. I love both of these. I love both of these movies. Yeah. Um, well, what's so funny is that, like, you know, the internet anywhere will tell you that this one is so much better. I and mean, in a lot of ways it is, yeah. but... Like, this one is a better made movie. Like I, I'm going to say that. I think Kung Fu Hustle is a better movie. If you want to mm. watch a really good movie with comedy, mm -hmm. watch that one. However, if I was stuck on an island and I only had the option of watching one of them, I'm going with Kung Pao. I can <laughs> I, get more I, enjoyment I, out of Kung what? Pao, even though they're both great. I'm going Kung Pao 2, just from, like, memories of watching it when yeah. I was younger. Um, and also, you know, um, if you want to get your fix of Kung Fu Hustle, you can just watch Shaolin Soccer, which yeah. I, like, Better. I've only seen it once. I remember really liking it's it. It's more but... straightforward. The tournament, all the stuff's really funny. The jokes. It yeah. punched more, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a little too experimental with Kung Fu Hustle. But, I mean, it's great, whatever. But in a competition, yeah. I, I like Kung Pao more. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they both accomplish something. I mean, uh, Kung Pao accomplishes the art of the hack job of yeah. taking a movie and retooling it with dubbing and green screen and everything. And then Kung Fu Hustle sort of perfects the art of like the exaggerated fight with special effects and choreography. Mm. I mean, they, they're both, they both have a place in my heart. I think Kung Pao is the funnier movie. Yeah. And if I just want to laugh, that's the one I'll put on. So <sighs> it's a tie. Yeah. Okay, oh. do something. I don't know. So Kung Pao wins. <laughs> I guess it does. Yeah. 
There yeah. you go, Steve. Odenkirk. It is the funnier one. If you, I'm picking it for comedy, I would pick Kung and, Pao. And just remember, in that movie, they, they show you scenes from a sequel that may or may not happen, though I heard it, it is. It, no, it's not even... Those were deleted scenes that oh. may, didn't make it into well, the movie, uh, so they chopped them up and well, made that fake trailer. They are talking about doing that, and Kung Fu Hustle 2 is definitely coming in 2020. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know I'm, what? When both of these sequels come out two years apart from each other, again. <laughs> we'll see you again. <laughs> and good luck with Martial Arts Month. Yeah. Well.